Hey guys, this is Prashant Kumar again from My Realty Gains. You know that I had taken a 30 day challenge to talk to my folks um, about multifamily and assisted living world. As most of you know that I do a lot of multifamilies and I do um, some assisted livings also. And today I'm gonna to talk about Pref equity, right? Uh, a lot of people know about Pref equity, uh, but I, I know a lot of people have not taken Pref equity for their projects. Typically, Pref equity, the way Pref equity works is you would go to a broker. Once you have a project outlined where you have uh, higher equity needs uh, in the capital stack, you would go to a broker. Broker will say that I can bring you a fixed rate sort of equity uh, to the table. And then from there, and the remaining uh, capital stack, you raise the money yourself. So, so if you have debt, debt first, and on top of it, that you have Pref equity, and then you have uh, you know, a little bit of space for uh, retail investors. So being the fact that Pref equity um, comes in between debt and retail, uh, the returns on Pref equity that you have to pay are a little bit less than what you would pay to ret retail investors. Nevertheless, they are high enough. Um, for a deal, I could not get anything less than 12% with some points up front and some point at the exit. So 12 plus maybe two points, two and a half points, it becomes 14% return. The thing is these pre equity groups, they will not go beyond 85% of capital stack. So if you are taking 70% as that, then you can potentially put 10 to 15% on top of it uh, from these groups. Um, they will make uh, 14, they are a little bit higher uh, they, they have the highest percentage. Any their return has to be, um, you know, the first before you pay the retail investors. Now it depends on your project. Your project may have some uh, some construction component in it where you may not be able to pay the whole twelve percent from day one. In that case, what they do is they would uh, they would they would really uh, say that part of it is paid upfront and part of it is accrued and it is compounded uh, on a monthly or quarterly or yearly basis, uh, that also increases the their yield rate. So yeah, in the scenarios where they may take half and half is accrued, add it to the balance. Um, and, and you cannot just take them out whenever you want. They want, typically they have the criteria at least uh, 1.2, 1.5 or 1.2 to 1.5 times their money. And if you, if you quit, if you, if you try to pay them off sooner, then they then you get penalized, so there are a lot of challenges there. But I mean, in, in tough scenarios, those projects um, can be fruitful uh, because you know you may find investors um, you know who may be okay with um, you know paying the pre equities guys first a lower return than what you would pay the retail investors. So typically, you would pay lower, a little bit lower to pre equity guys, um, and if you can bring. Uh, 10 to 15% from retail investors, your own money, uh, that would make the deal work. It's a, it's a difficult scenario. You know, you have debt. In a loan assumption scenarios, you need to bring pref equities. Otherwise, because loan assumption is low LTV, then you bring pref on top of it uh, to get to 85%. And then you raise the remaining 15% or 20% of the money on your project yourself. That's how the structure works. I've had a lot of experience in this area. I would love to share details with anybody. Um, you know, the thing is underwriting the Fred, Pref equity group is also a challenge. Typically, Freddie and Fanny likes to underwrite um, th these groups very carefully. Uh, there's no hard equity. There are no takeover rights, things like that. They want all that to be mellowed down. And the way their equity should work is more like soft equity. Um, they are not LP investors. They do not, I mean, most of the time, they do not want to take the ownership of your deal, but they want to secure their position. Uh, that's their business. So if you have any questions, I've had, I have had enough experience in this area. Uh, my name is Prashant Kumar. Uh, schedule a call with me, uh, myrealtygains.com. I would love to talk to you. I have many, many projects, multifamily and assisted living projects. In assisted living projects, you know, returns are as much as 25% annualized. Trust me, no, no kidding. And these are on conservative side. So if there is any interest anybody has, I have many projects in multifamily also where returns are about 16 to 17 IRR. 
but in assisted living, those returns are a little bit more, like 20 to 22, 25 IRR. Um, working on a couple of closings this quarter, uh, hopefully in March or in April, uh, within the next 30 to 60 days, me, I would love to talk to you. Thank you so much, folks. And you guys have a blessed day. Bye now.